Politics now this weekend. The top Republicans in our state are on Mackinac Island for meetings focusing on next November's elections. Also on the island, some of the GOP's presidential candidates who are working to gain support here in Michigan. Political reporter Rick Albin is on the island as well, covering the big event. Day two of the Republican Leadership Conference on Mackinac Island was all about presidential politics. Of more than a dozen Republicans who say they're running for the office, only two candidates showed up, but they were the two front runners. One was Mitt Romney, and he may also be one of the reasons that only two candidates showed up. Hi guys, how you doing? Romney arrived on the island making full use of his home state connection. I asked him about the importance of Michigan in winning the nomination. I hope it's going to be real important because I'm, uh, I'm planning on doing well here in Michigan. And actually, if I'm lucky enough to become the nominee, I think we can take Michigan uh, into the uh, uh, Republican column. And, uh, and this will be the state that will send Barack Obama to the most appropriate retirement. On the other hand, Texas Governor Rick Perry kept his distance from the media, but he did take a few not-so-veiled swipes at Romney. That we don't need to select a nominee that will blur the lines between themselves and President Obama. And let me share something with you. I will draw a sharp contrast between President Obama and myself. But it wasn't just Republicans on the island. The chairman of the Michigan Democratic Party was here, too. And when it comes to Romney and Perry, he says neither one fit the bill. People like Rick Perry and Mitt Romney, Mitt Romney hasn't lived in this state in decades, who come in and want to you know, run for president here. Well, where were they when we needed them? On the auto industry rescue, both of which they opposed. I mean, Mitt Romney wrote an article said to let Detroit go bankrupt. Republicans will wrap up their biannual conference tomorrow here on the island. Of course, we will continue to follow decision 2012 from now right through next November. On Mackinac Island, I'm Rick Albin, 24-hour news 8.